Hey Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for May 3rd to May 9th. My name is Johanna, welcome to Tenacious Soul. We're gonna go through some general messages for you guys for the week, so take what resonates. Leave the rest, you can always check out your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. Uh, this is not my usual setup, I am at the cottage, so I'm not sure when you guys are seeing this, but hopefully it doesn't take too long to upload because I've been having that issue. Um, so yeah, we'll kind of see, but um, let's see what your message is for this week. We have the sun. So in this deck, that can indicate new beginnings. Um, and then we have the first chakra. So that's the base chakra or your root chakra. Um, I feel like there's something here that's offering you a lot of like stability in your life. We have the seven of swords. We have the eight of wands, the hierophant in the recent past. Current energy with the king of wands, the wheel of fortune, the four of cups. Near future, we have the world, the sun, and the three of cups. We have the high priestess here at the bottom of the deck. Um, I don't know if there's, so some of you could be dealing definitely with like, we have a fire, fire sign here. Uh, Leo specifically or Sag. We have Taurus here as well, Cancer, fixed signs. I don't know if something was maybe hidden from you or like something's gonna be maybe revealed. Um, in the recent past here, we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Eight of Wands and we have the Hierophant. Um, I almost feel like there's something here that you're learning about a situation. With the Seven of Swords, it's like it could have been hidden from you. Um, but it's like it's it, with the Eight of Wands, it indicates communication or, or movement forward, right? So I kind of feel like something's being communicated here that it's like you're learning about it with the Hierophant. Um, we're going to kind of see. Others of you, it could be communication about something someone was holding back in maybe even a commitment with the Hierophant. Um, we have the King of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Cups in your current energy. Um, I definitely feel like there could be a fire sign here. I don't know if the opportunity is coming from this person. It, it is an opportunity I feel coming towards you. I feel like it offers you change somehow in your life. For some of you, it could offer you a little bit of like abundance. I almost feel like it closes out a chapter in your life. It's like you're starting a new cycle with this opportunity because in the near future here, we have the world, the sun, and the three of cups. So again, it's like starting something new and it could be with a group of people here. So some of you are just like going out more, but I also feel like there could even just be celebration around, oops, sorry. There could be some celebration around this new opportunity as well. Because I feel like it's something that makes you relatively happy. Like I feel like, um, I don't know if you maybe didn't see it coming or, okay, these three just came out here randomly. We have the three of wands, 10 of wands, eight of cups. So you guys have been like waiting almost for this opportunity because I feel like there's something you've walked away from. There's, you guys are definitely closing out some sort of cycle here. Um, Let's see what this Hierophant is here in the recent past. Oops. We have uh, the Four of Swords. Nine of Swords. What's this? Tell me more about the Hierophant here. Seven of Coins. Like some of you have been healing from this situation, whatever this is. What's the seven of swords here? Queen of coins, the lovers. Yeah, I definitely feel like it could have been a commitment. Like you could have been deceived in some sort of a commitment here, sorry. Um, and it's like you've maybe needed to take some time to heal from that with the seven of pentacles and the four of swords. Um, so I don't know if that's maybe what you moved on from. Anything more about this in the recent past for Scorpio? page of coins, hanged man. If this was a relationship, you could have had children with this person or there could be children somehow involved that that could be kind of what's like causing this to like hold things up 
or you're trying to look at it from, I don't know, their perspective as well. With the devil. I feel like it's like, I do kind of feel like there's something, something kind of like toxic, I don't know, with this person with the devil and we have the emperor here at the bottom of the deck, which tells me like, I don't know if they're like, for some of you, if there's children, they're like, I don't know if they're like holding that against you in the sense, not holding it against you, but like, you know, it's like they're using the children to manipulate the situation or something like that uh, for some of you. For others of you, what I just see is like this person's just holding you back from going towards new things with the page of coins. It's like, this is, they're holding you back from this here. So I don't, I feel like you guys have been healing from that. Three of coins, like you're, you're maybe rebuilding your finances, starting something new for a lot of you. So let's see what this four of cups is here in the current energy. We have the hermit. Um, we have the star here. So again, like in more healing energy. I feel like there's an opportunity to, to make you more stable. Some of you, it's a new relationship with the queen of wands, king of wands here. What's the wheel of fortune here for, for Scorpio? What is this uh, wheel of fortune here? Empress. Yeah, and ten of coins. So some of you, this is a new relationship. Others of you, this is an opportunity to opportunity to improve your finances, bring more abundance into your life, more stability into your life. It's going to like level you up. Um, this could be a person who provides that for you as well. Um, but I feel like it's either a relationship where somebody wants to like you know, be in a committed relationship with you, maybe move into a home with you. Somebody could be, some of you could be purchasing a home as well. Um, what's this four of wands? Six of swords. Yeah, this is somebody, this is going to be a more balanced connection than your previous one. Let's see. Some of you, I want to say too, you could be getting married to this person. Like they, that could be what's on the table here with the ace of swords. So sometimes when that comes out, when you're talking, that can mean yes, <laughs> that is true. Um, but it's almost like a lot of you with the two wands that here at the bottom of the deck too, it's like you see clarity in your future. So let's see what this three of cups is here in the near future for you, Scorpio. What is this three of cups here? Page of swords. So there could be people like seeing this. Knight of Swords, Ace of Coins, Queen of Swords. I feel like you guys know exactly what you want. And it's almost like you've achieved it. You go from the page, the knight, to the queen of swords with the Ace of Pentacles. It's like, um, this could have been something you have your, you had your eye on for a while and like now you've achieved it. And so there's happiness, there's success there. Um, what's the sun here for? What is this sun here? Six of cups. Yeah, I feel like there's like, there's just happiness. The six of cups can just be happiness. It doesn't even have to be a person. Five of cups, like you've gone, you've changed. Like the, you were in this five of cups energy and this six of cups is now your the what's happening with the sun, right? It's like you were sad about something and I think you changed the situation. We had judgment here. So it's like, I think you made a decision to walk away from one thing and start something else, which has brought in a lot more happiness into your life, Scorpio. It very much could be a fire sign, a Leo, or a, like a Taurus. What's your advice here? Nine of swords. Give me more advice for Scorpio. Two of Swords. Any more advice for Scorpio? Five of Pentacles. Give me one more for Scorpio's advice. Oops. Um, we have the Tower. What is this? The Tower and Strength. So a lot of you are overcoming a fear of yours in order to move towards something new. I feel like this is coming in pretty quick after you overcome something. With the Two of Swords, Five of Pentacles, like I feel like you were kind of holding back. Um, it was like a fear of something not working out. Could it be abandonment wounds? 
I feel like a lot of you have healed that, you've overcome that, and it, that I feel like is almost from this past situation. So if you're not fully over something from the past, I feel like um, that's almost like what your advice is to keep working through that because I feel like the tower is bringing in this Ace of Cups, this new person here, if they're not already in your life. Um, yeah, what's the tower here for? Ace of Wands, yeah, it's br the tower is bringing in something new, it's bringing in something good because you've done the work. So again, it's like once you've done the work, you've healed, you've done like, you know, you've worked through this, whatever this place, wherever this element of like lack comes from, once you've worked through that, I feel like that's when the tower, the universe is going to bring in this new opportunity here with this Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, that sort of thing, whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Because there is something here that you're trying to achieve and it's bringing more stability into your life. So whether that's a relationship, a job, whatever. But something can work out in your past and it's like that's what you're needing to heal from because it's bringing, there's new change and there's, there's change in general coming into your life uh, currently. So that is what I have for your Scorpio. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Let me know down below. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Hopefully this doesn't come out too late. Um, and yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.